You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we will be recapping SmackDown Live from November 21st. Yes. Um, apparently we learned that SmackDown is the show tonight. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, so it's a entertaining SmackDown. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, some different things happened. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was... Uh, wasn't bad. Not yeah. much wrestling. A lot more teasing of wrestling. Yeah, I guess that's that's fair. <laughs> yeah, a lot um, of fighting. Wow. Yeah. But, all yeah. right. So uh, this episode of SmackDown started with the uh, recap of or uh, kind of like the series, clips right? of the Survivor Series men's match, where mm-hmm. very little positive happened for SmackDown. Oh yeah. So they were like really doing stretches on what <laughs> was worth putting on. Which is funny, because they could have accomplished the same thing with SmackDown winning. I guess that's true. <laughs> Which is what we all kind of figured yeah. that was going to happen. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, it showed clips of the AJ getting thrown, mm-hmm. and it just it was just funny. Yes. Um, but yeah, when the show kind of just actually starts, it's uh, Shane comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, he 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 makes the biggest lie uh, I think we've heard in the WWE in quite a long time, where he said that they were this close to winning, <laughs> when they had no chance in hell, especially nope. when it was three on one yes, with, with him against Braun, <laughs> Kurt Angle, <laughs> and Triple H. Triple H. Yeah. So, um, oh, but man. yeah, yep. But despite f- not winning Survivor Series, he, mm-hmm. they proved or the SmackDown. Locker room proved that they are no longer the B show. They are just the show in WWE. What does that mean? Mm. Oh. <laughs> they Whatever. didn't win the two most important matches on that the is, card. It's true. Three, technically, if you want to count the New Day versus the Shield. Yeah. The, the yeah, champions mm-hmm. and the Survivor Series. I, I would <laughs> say that those are the, the three most yep. important. Mm-hmm. And, I don't know. I, so that... Because Corbin, Charlotte, and the the Usos won. So yep. those are the three. So. Yep. Whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway. Yep. So. Uh, but yeah. Mm-hmm. But, nope. All right, sorry. Go. At this point in time, he says that he's proud of everyone in the locker room except for two individuals. Yes. And at that point, he calls out Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Apparently, they cost them the match. Yes. It's all <laughs> their fault. Because if they hadn't interfered, mm-hmm. they would have won. Four on two or three on two? It was... Uh, I guess it was three on two, right? No, I think it was still technically four on two because Orton might have eliminated... Um, no, no, it couldn't No, have Angle been. eliminated. Because it was Nakamura, then Rude. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm thinking of the wrong team. Um, it was Finn and Joe, yep. so it had to be three. Yeah. Because I think that... Finn um, and... I know Finn. that Orton uh, eliminated Finn. Right. And then Joe eliminated Cena, right? Yeah. And then who eliminated Joe? Had to be Orton again. Yeah, maybe. No, right, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't it matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Um. Anyway. Right. So uh, they come out. Mm-hmm. They're all happy. Oh yeah, <clears throat> very happy with uh, pleased with themselves. Um, and then Shane says, or, uh, they say that Shane should apologize for leaving them out of Survivor Series, mm-hmm. because if they were in the match, or they could have won all the matches that SmackDown Live lost. Yep, that's true. So in a five-on-two match against Team Raw, they would have won. They could have beat Brock Lesnar, too. Yeah, either yep. of them. Yep. <laughs> Double yep. <laughs> Triple yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Sami Zayn. He's really having uh, fun being a heel. Oh, yeah. It's a lot more, uh... It's a lot easier to be happy go lucky when you're doing bad yeah. things. Yeah. Well, his face run was a little odd with him kind of just being yeah. weird. Yeah. Almost. I don't know. It just it like seemed... overanalyzing and stuff like that. It just honestly feel... it seemed um I don't Forced. know. No, honestly I felt that it came off as, you know, real. Yeah. Cuz you know. Oh yeah, I guess somebody did, they did say that, that he was kind of like that. Yeah. But. Well, I think there's been multiple cases where Owen said that that's pretty much mm-hmm. what he is. Yeah. It might have been over exaggerated, probably, <laughs> yeah. but. But yeah. Um. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So uh, 
Sheen keeps on trying to imply that he's going to yeah. fire the two I of them. I got two words for you. <clears throat> You're fired. Yeah. And before he's able to say that, Dan O'Brien comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, he says, uh, let's let's hold off on that. Let's put them in a match. How come he didn't say that? that's not what we do here on SmackDown Live? I eh, guess <laughs> they missed the opportunity. I know. Um, so he puts them in a match with the New Day. I expected it to be a handicap match. Yeah, that's that what was, I thought. That well, was not the case. three members of their team, yeah. only two of ours. Yeah, but that ended up not being like the case later on. Everyone <laughs> in the locker room wants a PCU, so they're going to be out here as well. Yes. And it'll be a lumberjack match. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So. so, yeah, that will be our main event. Uh-huh. So we got to the first match with Shelton Benjamin versus Jay Uso. Oh, last week was, what, Jimmy versus Gable? Yes. Yeah. Um, this is a decent match. Yeah, it was uh, pretty good. There's another one of those uh, commercial, commercial break matches. Yeah. So should... the match starts. One thing happens. Goes commercial. to commercial. Yep. And come back. And one and... more thing happens. Yeah. Matches over. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so I guess Jay went up top. Well, I think there was a little outside interference, right? Didn't Gable uh, try to get involved a couple times, mm-hmm. and then Jimmy came over and like knocked him off the uh, apron? Yeah. I think, right? Mm-hmm. And then Jay went up top for a frog splash. Benjamin moved out of the way, and he hits, was a pay dirt? That That's his... what they said the move was called. <sighs> sure. Well, he used to be the gold <clears throat> standard. So it, it's probably a move he used to yeah. use. Sure. Um, and they just didn't come up with a new name for yeah. it yet. So the uh, Usos and Benjamin and Gable split. Yes. Last week, Jimmy won. This week, Shelton won. Yeah. Which I didn't expect them to put Shelton I mean, make Shelton lose. Oh, no, no, no. Um, so do you, do you think this is just going to be his run? Or you think they'll eventually give him a singles run? I don't know. It's hard to say. Because the fact that they put him in a tag team to begin with is mm-hmm. a little surprising. Because um, if he had come back last year like he was supposed to, he never would have been put in a tag team. No. Um, so it, I, I feel like maybe, if anything, he'll just have a long... Mm-hmm. tag team run and then maybe he'll leave or so, yeah. it, depending on how he feels i guess right yeah i guess yeah um At this point in his career who knows how he's yeah well maybe it's more of he wanted the consistency of you know wwe instead of having to be all over the place on the yeah. indies yeah so i don't know or he just likes working for the wwe yep it's possible that's true so we uh go backstage and uh Sammy and Kevin are kind of backstage looking for allies, right? Yes. And they come up and they start talking, and I, I knew right away who this was going to be. Well, it, it, it makes was the, the biggest deal sense. on the show. Yeah. And so they're uh, talking to Corbin, and they're asking for help later on in the match. Yes. And Corbin's like, "What's in it for me?" <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, it's, it's just for your sake, you know, it's just, just because." Pretty much, they really mm-hmm. didn't have a good answer yeah, for it's him. It's good for you. He said, there's no way I'm going to help you. You guys need to find somebody more weak-minded. And then down the hallway, you see Bobby Roode. Uh, so yeah. they go up to him. And he basically yells at him. Well, yeah. He's like, you guys are the reason why I lost my match last night. <laughs> you he, out of your minds? Yeah. And then he says he owes them a receipt. Yeah, I didn't quite know what that meant. Did, did he... Like, ruin his robe or something? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I didn't know if I missed something. No. Nah, no. Nah. That was it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and we got a teaser for the Bludgeon Brothers. Yes, they're going to be in action later on tonight. <laughs> it was funny. I was watching, and I was like, is this going to be like that time when they said something was going to happen, and then it didn't happen? Like, with the uh, Fashion a lot, Files? A lot of the yeah. times. <laughs> I know. I was like, I hope not. Well, that Fashion Files was, they said next week, but it never happened next week. Yeah, it, yeah. They've never done that night and, and then, then not happen. happen. Yeah. Um, There's been times when I thought it wasn't going to happen. Well, yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden. Um, all no, right. I think they did do that with the Fashion Files. I don't think so. No? No. <sighs> I think we would have remembered that, to be perfectly yeah, honest. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> um. All right, so up next, we had a very odd starting yeah, it was a, segment. Yeah, it was a little different. Yeah, so it was Naomi talking to her hairdresser or makeup, makeup artist. artist. Yeah, she was just sitting in the chair getting her makeup done, I guess, yeah, right? She, yeah, she was talking about um, about the Survivor Series match and how she was proud of Charlotte mm. for beating Natalia. And she was hoping that Natalia wouldn't win the belt tonight. You mean uh, she beat Alexa. Yeah, but yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I meant. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Um, and uh, I don't want her to be champ. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, Ruby Riot walks yeah, up. Yeah, it just totally caught me off guard. Yeah, because uh, we had mentioned about the, I guess, maybe not questionable, but surprising choices of call-ups mm-hmm. from NXT yes. that happened on Raw. Mm-hmm. And this trio, minus one of them, um, was a little, uh, uh, I don't know. I think, I think this was more surprising. Well, yeah, but I think Ruby is probably the most surprising of the three of them. Mm, I don't know. I think I think Liv is a little more polished. Than All right, well, let's, let's go through it. For. Um, but yeah, we got uh, Ruby Riot walks over and says she's going to introduce her friends, and uh, then they show Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. Mm-hmm. Um, Sarah Logan obviously belongs on the main roster. Yes. So there, the fact that she was in NXT was kind of more of a technicality. It, yeah, she was just there very brief. Yeah, I think I she think- had a match on one of the pre-shows to one of the takeovers yeah and then she was in the may young classic right yeah and she had she's had a couple of actual nxt TV oh yeah and then she was in the, one of the uh, uh, battle royals i yeah. think yeah so um i think if anything she was just there to be a name mm-hmm. in the may young classic yeah and then she's gonna get moved up um like like I had just said, uh, Liv Morgan I think gets more credit than she or gets less credit than she deserves. No, no, no. I, I think she's a good. Uh, I just feel like her character and Carmella's character are very similar. It's just odd that they have them on the same brand. Well, um, the there's been a lot of talk of teases of uh, Carmella cashing in Money in the Bank's, hmm. and they had just announced that Money in the Bank's going to be um, a dual branded pay-per-view coming up next year yeah so what i think and doesn't mean anything obviously but maybe what they can do is they can have carmella cash in on alexa yeah and um this way they can have a reason why it's dual branded on storyline it's like oh why don't we just have it so that they can cash in on either one yeah and if carmella wins the title it's a very easy person to to drop the title to Paige. It's true. Yeah, but then you got Asuka. I know, but if you keep Asuka away, away. yeah, it's, it'll be better. Fair enough. Because you can keep her dominant by beating up Dana <clears throat> Brooke every week. That's true. <clears throat> ah, she's going to eventually find out after she, she finishes watching those uh, networks. Uh, Maybe there aren't as many holes as collections. Yeah. So anyway, they start beating up Naomi, and then mm-hmm. Becky Lynch comes in, and she gets the uh, the worst of it. Oh, yeah. She they, they start slamming around. her yeah. into the door yeah they just got thrown into one of the i guess the uh the cases the travel cases or whatever Mm -hmm. and yeah like you said into the door and then they slammed the door on her a couple times yeah but yeah this was an interesting one did not see this coming no especially considering usually they don't stack stuff like that and it was the same exact thing yep also this is the first time that they really made a big stink well maybe not the first time but it's like the one of the bigger call-ups yeah for women yeah, 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 at the absolutely. very least well especially you, making an impact yeah because usually what they'll do is like what they did with rude and with nakamura mm-hmm. they came up to fanfare and they didn't do anything to start with well they they feuded with Dolph. yeah but uh <laughs> but yep. it's not really the <clears throat> big spectacle like these two or yeah. these two groups did so right. it's cool Yep. So then we got another backstage segment with uh, Shane and Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. You know, Shane, I guess, congratulates him on the moves that he's made. Yes, he was very proud of him for making the match between the New Day, Kevin Owens, oh, right. and okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. and for calling up the, the women. three women. Yep. So he tells him that he's needs to get out of here before he ends up firing Owens and Zayn. And so he's going to go back to his hotel room. Yeah. Pick up his feet and watch the rest of the show. Yeah, he said he felt comfortable with Daniel Bryan taking over. He mm-hmm. hands him the keys and yeah, then keys he's on to his the way. castle. <clears throat> then highly we anticipated. Get the long awaited debut of the Bludgeon Brothers. Yes. They were fighting the hype bros. Yes, and they did not disappoint. Their well, theme music's fantastic. Yeah, it was pretty good. It's good. Their attire is strange, but it's not bad. Well, it's better in theory than their old attire. No, it, it it's true. Um, it, it's kind of similar the color scheme as the Ascension. So obviously there's more of a purple, like a burgundy. Yeah. And black. I don't know. I just kind of 
I was like, why did they choose that color? But anyway. It's true. But So, yeah, they uh, made quick work of the Hype Bros. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, as soon as the match starts. Yeah, Har- uh, Rowan started the match off. With, then, with Mojo. Yes, and then Harper just jumped off the apron, walked over, and then started beating up Zack Ryder. Mm-hmm. And then they went inside the ring. I think Harper tagged himself in, right? Or they tagged in? Yeah, they just made it. Yeah. Regular tag. And then Harper started smacking Rowan in the oh, head. Oh, he slapped him right in the face. <laughs> yeah. And then he th- uh, threw him into Mojo in the corner. And then they hit him with like a it's just a double crucifix bomb. Because yeah. it wasn't like a choke. I thought it was they, a choke slam. They called but- it a power bomb yeah it's but, it wasn't a power bomb no. so i went with chokes it was it was a crucifix bomb yeah i was gonna it, say it was kind of like the razor's edge but not <clears throat> over the head yeah over the head yeah um, and uh that was that yeah certainly a uh an aggressive start yeah for no they, they definitely looked like so, they came out there with uh, it, aggression it's, it's nice to see this team booked strong mm-hmm. because the wyatts were never booked well not really booked strong mm. so Granted, they could very well lose every big match they've ever they're ever in. It's true, but I mean, it's just it's just tough to see them behind the ranks of Gable and Benjamin, the Usos, the New Day. You know, they it's it's a tough hill to climb. Yeah, again, and like we were talking about with Raw, is there's no tag no teams tag teams, right? Raw. But everybody's on SmackDown. Then you have uh, Primo and Epico. You have the yeah, Breezango, the Ascension. Owens and Zane. They they could also put Aiden English and Rusev together <clears throat> yep. if they wanted to. That's true. <laughs> it doesn't crazy. make sense. It is insane. So yes. unless they're planning on some kind of swap, mm-hmm. which Owens and Zane would make sense, but they wouldn't be a tag team no. if they did that. But there's got to be something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, weird. Yeah, you know. Yep. Uh, so up next, uh, we have a backstage interview with Natalia. She's asked about the changing landscape of the women's division in reference to what had happened earlier. Um, she then talks about Charlotte and how uh, two paws could take out Alexa Bliss. Yeah, yeah. Which was not nice. No. Uh, then she said she's going to win tonight and take her title back. Yeah. I don't know. Natalia interviews are not very good. It's true. Her acting is not very good. It's very true. But, you know, she's a good wrestler. Yeah, she's, she is uh, good in the ring. She's, I don't know. And she's a competent. Yeah, and veteran presence. presence. Yeah, absolutely. Because so. just by watching Total Divas, you can see how bad her acting is. Well, yeah. <laughs> but it, it, it's good to have her around. It's not great to have her in the title picture. Yeah, yeah, that's, so, that's what I think it's that's, become. Yeah, the big thing. Yeah. But it looks like she will be moving out of the title mm-hmm. picture. I would assume so. So, <laughs> so then uh, AJ Styles comes out. And as he's in the ring, I think he was going to talk first, or did he actually speak when they showed the clip of... Um, well, they played it oh, while as he, he was, was coming getting in there. Okay, yes, that's right. So we got a clip of uh, Paul Heyman praising him, I guess, on Twitter, right? It was a video that was mm-hmm. posted. Mm-hmm. Um, and then AJ talks about Survivor Series, and that if Brock ever wants to fight again, he will fight him. Mm-hmm. And that if he remembers, in Rocky Two, Rocky won. Yes. So... That, that was good. And then we go back to Jinder. I, I think it's over for him. Who, Jinder? Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. So, you know, he basically said that if Jinder wants to take his title and come out and fight him, yep. he lays the title on the ground, and we get Jinder on the screen. So we, we're going to do this on my, my terms. terms. Yeah. <laughs> and when he say something, he made a reference to Clash of champions beforehand i forget what he said probably he said or maybe we'll clash or something like that and then he's like yeah exactly i get to choose my rematch when i want it Mm -hmm. and then he says you know what we'll do it at a bigger stage at clash of champions Mm -hmm. and uh then he you know he said that he would have beat lesnar oh no because he was yeah that's the reason he lost the match because he was preparing to be the beast master yes aj was like beast master (laughs) yeah so, well, if if you couldn't beat me and I couldn't beat Lesnar, then how could you beat Lesnar? It's true. Simple math. Mm-hmm. And then you get that meme of Brock Lesnar. I mean, uh, Braun Strowman with all the uh, mathematical equations on it. <laughs> <laughs> then our buddies, the Bollywood boys, the Bollywood Singh brothers, come from behind, 
Try to attack AJ. AJ throws one of them outside the mm-hmm. ring. That looked nasty. Yeah, like they landed just, on his head. They just got beat up. Yep. So one one Ada Styles clash. Yeah. And that was that was it. Mm-hmm. And I think later on in the night it was announced that next week we'll get a handicap match between Again. the Sings and AJ. Was it no, maybe it was Nakamura who had the handicap yes. match. Yeah, yeah. Because AJ still, had a singles match against each both of, of them. Both of them, yeah. Yeah. So dumb. Yeah, I, I mean it, I, they're, they're they're just holding on to life here with the chinder. I was gonna say, uh, is if this if this is the last time that AJ and Jinder interact at Clash Champions, mm-hmm. it's fine. It's worth it's worth it if they stop. Yeah. But if they don't stop and continue on to the Rumble, then we have problems. I don't see it going because to the th- Rumble. his story, Ru- uh, Ru says Jinder's has been he, the same. He's not even on thing. TV anymore. Yeah. It's like, the same exact thing every single like week. We're not now. doing anything. Like we said, that it, had they expanded his character a little more and not made it just about him being different, mm-hmm. we, we could have we could have gone somewhere with this. Yeah. So, but you know, and that's a shame because he could have been built up as a good heel. Mm-hmm. They just, I guess, felt like being lazy, or they weren't sure about it, so they didn't want to get too creative. Mm-hmm. And then the whole thing where they went were going to India and they had to cancel one of the shows because mm-hmm. they didn't sell enough tickets. Yeah, which again, you spoke about it moving into a market that there is no market. Yeah, no, it's just what it is. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean, no, I Japan, hear you. different story. Mm-hmm. Already yeah. have a big wrestling following. Yep. But mm-hmm. whatever. Yep. 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 All right. So up next, we got uh, Owens and Zayn ah, looking is, for more help. This is a good segment. Yeah. So they enter the a locker room, and uh, Rusev is getting serenaded by Aiden English, <laughs> telling him uh, or singing about Rusev Day, and uh, and then Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn go, "Oh, we want to celebrate Rusev Day mm-hmm. too." Yeah. See, we we don't have to worry about that stupid holiday coming up because we're Canadian. We already had Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> we want to celebrate Rusev Day. Yeah. And, and and anyway, Rusev, remember when you got shafted out of the out of being a part of the Survivor Series team? Mm-hmm. That's why you should be with us. Yes. That would make a fantastic four man stable. It's not gonna happen, but it would be fantastic. It's the anti Americans and uh and in English. In English. He's just their announcer. Although technically Christian <clears throat> was part of the anti anti American, so maybe they could He's Canadian. Oh yeah, that's right. He is I forgot. <laughs> was that him, Test and him. Lance Storm? Was Test the one who wasn't Canadian then? No, maybe. I, I know one of them wasn't. I don't remember. And obviously it wasn't Lance Storm. He was also in the Union. Do you remember that one? The Union. Yeah. It was Test, Shamrock, the big show, and I think somebody else. There was a fourth member of that. Was that one they were with McMahon? No, when they broke away from the corporation, they yeah. had their own stable. I did not know that. Yeah. Must have been a very short-lived one. It was. Um, <clears throat> but, anyway. Yeah. So every day is Rusev Day. Oh, of course. Um, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, up next, we have Natalia versus Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Um, Natalia actually got a lot of offense in. Yep. It yeah. looked like she was she was able to ground Charlotte. Yeah. I mean, this was another commercial match. So. Well, yeah. But we got a little more. Of this one. They gave it some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Natalia, or Charlotte, <coughs> like, I think, does she go for a moonsault but misses? But then is able to... No, she, oh, went, she went for, for a the moon... moonsault and Natalia got her knees up. Yes. But it, Natalia was obviously too close to the turnbuckle, so you knew she wasn't going to hit it. Yeah. Or she was too far. <laughs> no, no, she was no, too she close. she was very close. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was, yeah. Um, and then something happens and Tony ends up on the outside mm-hmm. and then they show a side angle from like the timekeepers, um, right place. Yeah. And, uh, I think it was Ruby was the first one who came out and mm-hmm. attacked Natalia. They, the three of them come out, they beat up Natalia on the outside. Charlotte's kind of just standing mm-hmm. in the ring, not knowing what's going on. Yep. The match gets called out and then the three ones, they're done with Natalia. They go into the ring. They surround Charlotte. Charlotte goes to take him out, but is unsuccessful, and she gets beaten up. Yep. And gets eats finishers from the three of them, I yeah. believe. Like, cool. this would have been the perfect time to have Carmella come out, cash in. It would make sense. And then have her be the one in charge of the so-called, you know, NXT call-ups, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Well, because, you know, it's the opportunity. Right. For the Rose. Yeah. And so she 
is, I don't know, I don't know if she's a strong enough character to be by herself, you know? I mean, she's kind of established herself now. Carmella? Yeah. She's much better off than she was before she got yeah. the money in the bank. But I think this would have just elevated her. So it would have played oh, yeah. more to her character. Uh, also, we very well could have it so on Tuesday next week. That's exactly what happens. It's true. But Cause at, she wasn't seen. You know, yeah, no, she wasn't on TV. Mm -mm. But at the same time, like I don't know what they're going for with the the NXT women coming up mm -hmm. on both shows. Yeah. Um. It, there's also the possibility that maybe next week even more people come up. Yeah. It's so possible. yeah, because like I said, just the women's roster on both shows has been stale. Mm -hmm. We get the same matches. Oh week yeah, they're they're week. not doing anything no. creative. No, so. see, on SmackDown, it's either you get a championship match or, or six match. man tag yeah. or six woman tag whatever you want to call it yeah yep so then we go backstage and daniel bryan i guess renee asked him right mm -hmm. what his thoughts of the uh what the women had just did the nxt women just did and yeah. he just said mm, yeah. well he kind of laughed and then said no comment no comment yeah and then uh owens and zane walk up to him and they, they plead for their jobs and he just says you know good luck guys Kind of walks away. Yeah. That's it. Daniel Bryan's playing the cool, cool yep. guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's what I said when he was walking out after Shane and them were in the ring. I go, uh-oh, here comes dad. Because he's got, he's, you know, he's a new dad. It's true. That brings us to the main event. Yes. Um, so this is a rematch of last week. Except we had Lumberjacks. Yes. And flapjacks. Yes, the new day came out with uh, pancakes. It was so really strange. They opened the box, which the guy in the audience was expecting to get bootios dropped on his face, and he got pancakes dropped on his yeah. face. Yeah. And then I think Kofi was throwing them into the audience. <laughs> Xavier came out with his uh, Mick Foley vest on. Yep. Because so. he was the head lumberjack, mm -hmm. I think uh, Corey Graves said. Yeah. Um. So it's pretty funny. Yeah. So during the match, obviously during a lumberjack match, they mean just people are going to get thrown out of the ring a lot. Yeah, because who what was it? Zane threw out one Kofi. of Kofi. Kofi first. Yeah. Kofi was the first one, and everybody just out. kind of backed away and yep. let Kofi get back in the ring. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Zane gets knocked outside, and they start beating the crap out of him, mm -hmm. and then throw him back in the ring. Kevin's like, "Well, what are you doing? You didn't touch <laughs> Kofi. Why are you touching him?" Yeah um so that happens i think one more time yeah um zane ducks a punch from corbin when he's on the outside corbin lands it on bobby Roode's face yeah and then a brawl everybody fought they got in the ring yeah. and then everybody disbanded mm -hmm. and then mike canellis got thrown out of the ring yes <laughs> so um the with the skirmish going on that allows Sami Zayn to roll up kofi and oh. uh they end up winning yeah well we didn't get to the part oh we Missed the part where uh, Sammy ended up outside the ring and started running up the entranceway, and all the lumberjacks oh, chased yeah, him chased and picked them. him back yeah. up and that, brought him back in that the was, ring. That was actually at the beginning of the right. brawl, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, the the two of uh, Sammy and uh, Owens win, mm -hmm. um, and then more fighting ensues. And at this point, Owens runs. Well, he. <laughs> Rusev and Aiden English cause a distraction from the New Day. Yeah. And then. Uh, Owens runs away, leaving Sami Zayn in the yep, ring to right face the off the New Day. Um, he and gets triple teamed. Yes. He gets hit with uh, Trouble in Paradise mm -hmm. and then the Midnight Hour. Yep. And uh, and then they cut to the back, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. Yeah, and Owens is walking by, and he sees Daniel Bryan. And then, you know, of course, he pleads for his job. Please don't fire us. And Daniel You're, Bryan's like, not oh, good for oh, business. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Don't you, don't you feel bad about your friend that you left in the ring? of course and he said you know he's like I, I was never going to fire you guys but next week you're gonna face randy orton it's just kind of a cop out at the end a little That's bit true yeah i don't know i i feel like there's some a lot of uh dissension gonna be going on between shane and daniel Bryan. yeah so we need a motivated orton too well he is <laughs> he is facing face the guy that he is jealous of so it's true <laughs> He needs to bring that into this. It's true. I want to be like you. Why? <laughs> um, you got it right. Yeah. But yeah. We're yeah. talking about Owen's weight because on uh, the Edge and Christian podcast, uh, uh, Orton said that he's jealous of Owen's because he came in fat. So that means he could keep it up. <laughs> yeah. 
goes over and says he goes away on like random tours and he'll gain a couple pounds and he'll have to lose it and mm. then yeah but so. good stuff yeah um yeah no orton needs to turn heel though well and it's, it's, it's just more it's, comfortable as a heel yeah he, no, the face character doesn't work for someone who calls himself the viper well also he <laughs> acts like a heel he's right. just booked as right. the face yes I, like, I mean the crowd loves him so yeah but you know that's a lot of the times where the heel is the one that's more appreciated anyway that is true but, but whatever yeah so that was our smackdown review if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye